Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Ask Anthony. Today on this episode, we are answering Luke Jorgensen's question, which is, is it worth me paying for Facebook and Instagram ads for my business? So pretty short, clear question. And I'm gonna answer this in a couple of different points, right? There's five different points that I wanna mention here. So the first one when considering Facebook, Instagram advertising or any kind of advertising for that matter for your business, the first thing to think about is who. Who am I trying to reach? Who is your ideal customer, right? Answering that question will give you uh, the next pathway to go down is where is that person spending their time online, right? For example, if we're looking at Facebook and Instagram ads, is my audience and are the people that I'm trying to reach using Facebook, are they using Instagram? Generally speaking, the answer to that question will be yes these days, just because there are so many people using that platform, but that's point number one. Point number two is have a look around and see if there are any other businesses that are in your industry um, or your competition who is doing uh, or running social media ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, right? See if you can find other people that are investing into those platforms um, because if they are, generally speaking, it's gonna give you an indication that they have found a strategy that works for them, right? Or that it is possible to reach your audience in that industry. Point number three is that you then need to look at who is going to run the ads, generate the strategy, do all of that work to create profitable campaigns, right? So are you going to do that? Is it going to be an agency? Uh, who are you going to get to run the ads for you? Short question or short answer for that is generally speaking, if you are a business owner, we don't suggest that you spend your time trying to learn, set up, run and manage your Facebook advertising campaigns, right? Find somebody who can do that for you, who has the experience, the expertise, and gives you the best shot at getting the results that you're looking for. Point number four is that you need to make sure that there is a strategy involved, right? What is your strategy for Facebook and Instagram advertising? And if you are talking to a consultant or an agency, somebody who's gonna manage this for you, they should be able to help you create that strategy and also wrap numbers around that, right? What are the unit economics look like? Are you gonna be able to generate profit off your campaigns? What are you going to need to invest in things like ad spend in order to generate the results that you're hoping to achieve? And point number five is test and measure, right? Nothing is ever guaranteed when it comes to marketing, right? Um, you know, people shouldn't be giving guarantees as such that it is, you know, XYZ platform is going to work for you or your business. But at the end of the day, you should be able to come up with a strategy and have some numbers that show you what success could look like, what you need to invest in that. And then it's a case of testing, measuring, implementing, and just optimizing to try and achieve the results that you're looking for. So they're my five tips when it comes to a business asking whether they should be running Facebook and Instagram ads. Luke, I hope that answers your question. If you've got any other questions, guys, as always, leave a comment below, hit me up, hashtag AskAnthony, and we'll create a dedicated video for your question as well.